Hey guys, what is going on? Uh, this is Trogdor, and we're going to be doing a, a quick uh, tutorial. Well, not really quick, it's going to be quite a big tutorial, but on how to use any controller um, PC gamepad, PS2 controller, Xbox 360 controller. Well, Xbox 360 is usually the um, program on their own, um, but well, this is going to be specifically for PS2 controllers. But um, So I got my PS2 controller there, and I've got it hooked up to this twin uh, Joy USB thing that uh, adapts to. USB, so that's how that is. My PS2 controller is going to be connected to the PC, and um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using it on a, on a Battlefield by Company 2. So we're going to go ahead and jump onto the PC, and I'm going to go ahead and explain further from there. All right, guys. So to get started, we're going to uh, what you're going to want to do is uh, download XPatter, get it uh, straight from the site, or get it from a torrent, wherever you want to get it from. But you got to get XPatter um, XPatter app. Um, open it up and uh, make sure you have your controller PC gamepad or PS2 controller plugged in and you're gonna come up with this first uh, uh, little window here so um, click this little controller button click new and uh, you're gonna use this this right here to to make the program recognize all the buttons that you're gonna be using so you're gonna click sticks enable push you know pretty self-explanatory stuff push up this is gonna detect the analog sticks click d-pad enable d-pad up left right buttons now um, depend if you have a PS2 controller you're not gonna be able to um, install the triggers by this trigger thing you're gonna have to put them under buttons and then you'll be able to, to assign them to whatever key you want to on your micro on your keyboard and that's pretty much what we're going to do here. We're going to make this thing uh, recognize all the all the buttons on the um, on the the gamepad, and then we're going to uh, assign them to certain keys on the keyboard, and then that in turn is going to be recognized on the uh, game as um, as if you were to be using the keyboard. And um, this is great and everything because once um, we get this all in uh, all ready to go. Uh, you'll be able to edit the access um, access uh, sensitivities, and um, which gives like pretty much entire uh, optimization for yourself and your gameplay type. So here we go. We have all of my uh, buttons. These are the triggers: D-pad, select, start, square, triangle, circle, X. The buttons on the analogs and the analog sticks themselves. So then after this, just click OK. After you're done recognizing all your buttons, and again, you can see that all my buttons are being recognized and they're all working properly. And this is where it's going to come in to your personal preference. Um, if you can see, on when I'm in Battlefield by Company 2, I go to Options, Settings, and uh, On Foot. Um, these are the, the keyboard um, functions that are set to their own um, like function. So if I'm going to want to reload, well then I'm going to have to set the reload function to whatever button I want to on the on the X pattern. So if I open up X pattern and shoot, let me cancel that. If I open up X pattern, um, you can see here that if I'm going to want reload to be square, well this is square right here. What I'm pressing, you're going to click this and this uh, keyboard assignment things should pop up so if I'm gonna want squared to be reload what well, I'm gonna do is click R because that's what the function is over here is to reload so square is gonna be reload so I'm gonna go ahead and set all of these buttons to um, what I want them to be and then uh, I'll go ahead and tune back in okay so I've um, set all of these uh, buttons to on the PS2 controller to represent a button on the keyboard and so that is going to in turn replicate what my mouse and keyboard will be doing on the PS2 controller so um, if you can see here this is the middle mouse button that's gonna be my my knifing F is gonna be to throw grenades that's gonna be to shoot I'm sorry that's gonna be to aim down the sides that's gonna be to shoot you know it's all self-explanatory these are all the buttons now um, the real good thing about this um, that comes into play here is when you go when you set this to be a mouse so um, you see these little things I have this to be W um, I'm sorry I have this to be actually I don't even have that set to anything I have this to be uh, WASD 
it's going to walk forward, left and right, and then of course it's shift so that I can sprint. And um, I have this set to, to being a mouse, a normal mouse. You can also set it to be inverted and completely inverted both ways. Um, but right here, um, I have the mouse settings. And you can control the you can you can emulate a faster or slower axis. So the way I have it set here is so that when I'm in game and I'm aiming down the side, uh, this will be able to move you know faster um, when I'm looking side to side and slower when I'm looking up. Because the thing that's going to happen with um, with using this emulation is that it's not going to be as smooth as it is in the PS3 or Xbox 360, and it's not going to be as smooth as it is when you're playing just um with the mouse it's it's a lot weirder it's real jerky it's 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 an un, very unnatural way of 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 using the the looking around uh, buttons and so um if you look at this and up and down you see how it's slower this way than it is moving this way so um what i'm going to do i'm going to move this just a little tad bit and now you can see that it is um it's being set to to do what these settings right here are being set to do so now you can see how faster it goes so um this i i absolutely love this setup because um not only one does it allow you to play with the ps2 controller or any pc gamepad that you can buy out there on the market but it also allows customization you know in its entirety you can completely um uh, customize this to your liking and to your personal preference and to the way you play and um, that's why I absolutely love this setup uh, so we're gonna go ahead and jump in game and uh, go ahead and show you some some quick little gameplay on uh, using this actual uh, setup alright we just loaded up so um, as you can see yet again um, I have all this stuff set set up right so I'm gonna enter battle and here it is, just some good old gameplay with uh, the use of the PS2 controller. Oh crap. And uh, right away you can see. Come on, try him. Ah! Oh, I hit it. Oh shit, he's coming my way. I know where this is. Oh shit, 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 shit. What? I know I hit him. That is such bullshit. No! Oh, come on. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, um, <laughs> yeah, that's that's the, the the way this works. Um, it's a pretty awesome setup. I'm glad I figured it out on on my own actually, um, by looking through so many different guides. And um, you know, when I first started out doing this, I I would get it all set up correctly but then the right analog would be looking up and it would be way too sensitive and um, I had seen this on other games too but um, I finally got it working so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and uh, please remember to like subscribe and comment and um, ask any questions we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible thank you guys for watching and uh, see you next time